Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen and I'm a professional string musician. Today we are going to be doing a viola warm up, which is a little bit different than usual. So if you're here for a violin, please go check out one of my other videos or wait for next week. Today we're going to do the viola, which is one of my favorite instruments to play. We're going to warm up together. For those of you who are new, I don't edit this video. I won't edit this video. Just like right now, I'm going to make mistakes and you're going to make mistakes and we're going to learn together. So let's get our feet nice and set. I am assuming that you've tuned. So if you haven't, pause the video and do that now. Let's check out your bow hold. Make sure your pinky is nice and round, that your thumb is bent. We're going to do a few pinky push-ups here. So what this is, is your pinky is pushing down. Your first finger needs to be nice and soft. And then you let it back. So this is not from the wrist or from the arm, just from the pinky. Let's do two more and two. Awesome. And do a few circles too. These are just good for balancing the whole bow hold, the entire bow hold. <laughs> and also for getting straight bows, having all the parts of your arm work together. Fantastic. So let's grab your viola. So we're going to do our C string. We're going to start with a C major two octave scale. So I'm going to turn on our metronome. And we're all going to play along together. Here's our beats. We're going to play two quarter notes for each note. So it'll sound like this. And you're going to come along with me. We're going to play the top note only one time. Sorry, only one set. So it'll play two times instead of four. Remember that you have high two, high two, and then low two, low two. So here we go. One, two, here we go. practice a little bit of a slower bow, kind of feeling not a scooping in like direction. We still want straight bows, so you, um, sorry, like flat bows, so you're not hitting other strings. But we do want to feel that you're really in the string. And kind of that feel of scooping out some ice cream where your spoon has that little bit of resistance and we're getting a nice, nice feeling. So let's do that. I'm not going to fall over. Let's get our feet nice and set. We're going to try it one more time, doing that nice slow bow. For this speed, I'm really staying in the lower half. This kind of bow stroke is key to beautiful viola tones. Let's try it together. Here's our metronome back. Nice and set. Check your bow hold, your bent thumb, curved pinky. One, two, here we go. <laughs>
a metronome. While we're here, we're going to talk a little bit about bowing on different strings. As you may have noticed, I certainly did. When you're playing on the C string, your bow needs more weight and it needs to be a little bit slower to get that same rich tone. This, the things that I'm saying right now are not always, but they are for this kind of tone where we want this like rich, deep, viola tone. That's why we play the viola. And then when we go to the A string, we need more bow. It needs to be faster and lighter to give us the same tone. If I do a C string bow on the A string, you can hear how it's really crunchy and un unbalanced. There's too much weight. Conversely, if I do an A string bow, a little bit lighter, a little bit faster. You can hear how it's just not quite that same rich deep sound on the C string. It's too airy. So as you practice your C major scale today, I invite you to listen to that sound, to pay attention to how deep and slow your bow stroke is, to adjust. We talked about the extremes, the C string and the A string. But this applies to all other strings as well. You can hear my kids. Anyway. So. Again, I don't edit these videos. So, who for us? Where's my train of thought? Anyway, so the D string and the G string, they are going to be kind of gradients in between. G string is going to be a little bit lighter than the C string. The D string is a little bit heavier than the A string. And you'll feel this as you practice. Anyway, I wish you happy practicing. And any other moms out there, have fun and good luck. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.